building a working nuclear reactor by Independence Day. That's the challenge President Trump has issued an Austin company and nine competitors. This is all part of an effort to boost the nation's grid. And KXAN's Eric Henriksen takes a closer look now at the next generation of atomic energy and why one local advocate is worried this push might cost us. On a factory floor in South Austin. You know, right now there's essentially a flat out race to try to supply the energy that will power these data centers. Allo Atomics is hard at work. Each module has a different interface so that you can kind of snap these together like Legos. Co-founders Matt Lozak and Yasir Arafat say one of the challenges of building a nuclear power plant, bureaucracy. It can take, you know, three to six months to get certain things approved. This month, the Department of Energy selected the company as part of a pilot program that will help cut through legal red tape and eliminate some paperwork. We're still doing all the same engineering and uh, physics and math to actually make sure that this reactor produces all the power we need as safely as possible. The company will soon break ground on a new six-story facility in Caldwell County. There, they'll test out their nuclear reactors made up of these giant pods which hold the nuclear fuel. That facility is just for testing parts, however. It won't house nuclear fuel. That will happen at a plant going up in Idaho this week. So this is a very aggressive milestone. A timeline that consumer advocate Paul Robbins thinks is unrealistic. I've been fighting nuclear plants since the late 1970s, and I've watched a lot of the financial pain that they have caused. Robbins points to multiple plants that saw construction costs and timelines soar, including the South Texas nuclear project in Bay City, which ended up costing five times its original budget. I think it's going to end up costing ratepayers, and for that matter, some of the companies that are trying to do this. For LOSAC, advanced reactors like the one Allo builds comes down to one thing, to help make sure that we don't lose to China and Russia on AI and nuclear. In Austin, Eric Henriksen, KXAN News. And the companies selected by the Department of Energy have until July 4th to fire up their reactors. The machines have to turn on but won't need to generate electrical power until a later date. By comparison, the Bay City plant that we mentioned took nearly a decade to bring online. And we also have some insight into how government cuts are impacting energy projects across the U.S. If you remember, the Trump administration issued an executive order putting a pause on research grants back in January. The judicial branch ordered the administration to unfreeze those funds, but the pause created pipeline problems delaying new energy projects. Experts warn new energy sources like advanced nuclear reactors and cold fusion could be set back. To learn about the Texas projects impacted by the government efficiency cuts, head on over to KXAN.com. And one of the most powerful nuclear reactors on Earth is actually right here in Austin. It's the J.J. Pickle Research Campus on UT's campus in North Austin. So the reactor is also one of the most active in the U.S. and could teach us about the future of space travel. This is also a story you can find on KXAN.com.